This is going to be Femboy Feast for the first half of February. Today is February the 12th, 2022. On the menu tonight, Kyo Xiao is going to be making for you some fish head curry, as well as some banitsa. Please enjoy. Anyway, welcome to the new chat overlay. You'll notice that some of you have special icons. Hooray. Please enjoy your icons. I need some motherfucking tea first off, but as previously mentioned, tonight we're going to be working on uh, some banitza and some fish head curry. Um, Reliant rede redeeming one of his three instant wins for uh, fish head curry and Shelby Lich teaming up for Banitza. If you're not in the Discord, feel free to hop in there. Uh, we still have the second half of the month cooking to go. So the curry is just like a one pan dish for me. Um, I'm not gonna do anything super fancy with this uh, besides showing you how to like fucking skin a fish, really. That's, that's it. That's all you're getting tonight. Well, how to accurately butcher and then fucking skin a fish. Fuck, dude, I didn't even drink my tea. Anyway, it's late. I'm not sure if we'll golf afterwards. It would be nice to at least try and get a few people in before we do zombies, do some late zombies. You get your own special chat box. You're a mod. You get green. I hear shit from you, Sam. Hey, Seth. Can we get, like, a nice zoom in on this? This is a lot later than everyone else. We normally get to it, so that means seven days will probably be shorter. All right, so we're gonna bring out our friend for the night. Also, if you're in chat, definitely feel free to clip anything because it's very difficult for me to clip anything. We're gonna bring out our friend, the whole Yellowtail Snapper. Say hi. Doesn't talk much. Ain't got no fins. So, always remember when you're working with fish, you are going to have to scale it. Uh, most fish need to be scaled properly, otherwise they're like fucking hard to eat because, you know, scales. Alright. Actually, let me just dip it for How are we tonight, chat? Sorry, really. Sorry, I'm an idiot. It's a fish. What's up, Nagami? Good morning. Someone, someone, ping Jeno and tell them we're, we're eating fish. Important part of this, obviously, is we want the head. So what you're going to get yourself is a fairly sharp knife, preferably one with a little bit of weight to it. And what I'm going to do, stinky ass bastard. All right, plop this bad boy out. So this has already been gutted, thankfully. I figured that gutting a fish on Twitch would probably not be like the way to go. So the only thing that's left in this boy. Fine. That's it. So, if we want an accurate head, well, try and, what I'm gonna do is try and get behind. Should I fillet this? I'm actually trying to think about how I want to do this. Well, now we're not gonna need the tail, so, little nick there. Bad boy over. Nick that as well. I'm gonna get right under here, find it nice and soft. A little crunch there. Some 
pumpkin bones. There's no guts, so this makes it a little bit more difficult. But I'm just going to very carefully cut my way through this collar. I have not, like, filleted a fish in a very long time. So, with Snapper, there are rib bones here. You want to try and avoid that, so... Just going to go right down the spine. Right down the spine. And just carefully... I'm going to apply pressure alongside the spine, and this is going to give us the fillet, but leave the bones on the other side of it. You should be able to feel it with your knife. It feels like you're fucking cutting bone. Okay. Again, I have not done this in a minute, so feel free to fucking laugh, get your chuckles in. But slow and steady wins the race. And the goal is to not eviscerate the shit out of this meat. Alright, so I'm almost through where I want to be. will be part of our meat. Obviously, not a very good job, but again, I haven't done this in a hot minute. You'll have to forgive me. And with a sharp enough knife, I can just kind of take the rest of the meat that I need right off of this. And don't worry, this is going to be a curry with fish, so it's... Fish does not cook firmly, my friends. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down a little bit there, so I have some of this tail skin to grab. I'm try and cut in at an angle here. You're just gonna kind of run your knife against the skin. Again, I have not done this in fucking ages of the Lord, so you can laugh at my struggles. It's not a very clean fillet, alright? But what we do have is the meat that I need, alright? You're welcome to try this at home and do better yourself. I'll fucking await the results. Unless you work in a kitchen, good luck. Ah, uh. oh, excuse me. The other thing is, I don't really have a super good fillet or boning knife, which obviously would make this process way much faster. But the good thing is, didn't waste too much there. And then we get to do it again on this side. Even if you're allergic to fish? Yo, thank you. Yeah, my glasses are very fucking gay. I will say you don't want to dicker around too much, especially if you don't like the smell of fish. Because it's starting to smell strong. Now I have like my, my cobbled bits of meat here. 
and this fucking war crime. But yeah, fuck it. We'll do some golf after this. We'll play around. Play a couple of rounds, even though it'll be late. So if you have friends that like to golf, have never golfed before, fucking get them in here. Um, and then Palmer hasn't hit me up about zombies. I know Trad's here. Alright. So I'm going to save those and this. Those are going to go into the curry while it simmers. Uh, normally I add fish sauce to green curry. I don't have to tonight. I have an entire fucking fish to work with. I can't believe I'm dunking an entire fish into the fucking curry. What the hell is wrong with you? Anyway, the goal is I'm gonna try and like almost lightly poach the fish within the curry, because that's the most responsible thing to do. Yeah, 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 we zombies, we're just running like behind schedule, homie. And that's, it's on me, it's just been one of those days. It's just one of those days where Fred Durst sings all his songs. All right. Anyway. Oh, bonus. The best part is right here, though. That's the delicious part. Right under the gill plate. These boys, the cheek and collar ring. That's where the good stuff is. You also, there's a little bit here I might excavate too, up in the up in the top corner, but it should be good enough for now. It's a nice little bit of meat. Um, so, for my curry, a lot of times I just use pre mixed shit because I ain't got time. I do have some brock, some broccoli. And no, I will not be using the same cutting board because fucking that's how you get the diarrhea and all the other horrible things. But I will turn this on, get a little bit of warmth in it. I'm going to turn on my uh, tea kettle for the third time tonight before I actually make anything. Anyway, how horrendous of a look is this? Because this side of the kitchen is a little bit messy. Anyway. Let's honestly break ourselves off some broccoli. I'm just going to trim some of the beauty bits off. I don't know if I need a knife, to be honest. I'll probably break some of these down just a little bit. And get some of the actual, like, petals off of it. Shout out to Xenos Trigger again for this fucking fabulous global night. This thing is insane. There's no pressure whatsoever on this. It just glides through. That's it. Friendly reminder, strop your knives. You don't need those fancy sharpeners or bullshit. Just good leather. You're on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Oh grind? Alright, bless up, dude. Even if it's just us kicking it late. Yeah, but sorry to everyone that raided in before I left. Um, it was just one of those things, like, I hadn't heard from Shelby, and then her mom didn't answer the phone, and... I don't know, man. I, look, I'm a very secure person. I'm very comfortable and in a very happy relationship. Sometimes I just fucking panic. A lot of self-doubt these days, especially being in, like, the VTubing community and speedrun community. It's just sometimes you just really doubt yourself and you fucking hit the panic button. It happens to the best of us. Alright, so these are nice and broken down. Now, the thing with broccoli for me is broccoli takes forever to fucking cook, okay? It does. So, I'm just gonna toss that in the pan and get going with that. It's gonna need some time to cook down, especially the thicker stalks. So, while we're over there talking about the cooking and the broccoli, our pan's on medium heat. It is going to get hit with the most important ingredient, MSG. MSG! If y'all are so afraid of this stuff, this is what MSG looks like. That's the set. It's not bad for you. It's a naturally occurring substance. It's delicious. Try it. MSG! Oh, Jenna, don't worry. We all suck at golf. The important thing is you're having fun and making friends within the community and realizing that this community is way bigger than the sum of its parts. Um, I think I'll save this for Curry Monday. 
All right, next up, we got some weeks. Now, this isn't something that I'm planning on doing, but I kind of like the fact that I can just turn this right onto the cutting board, and it's still pretty visible. So that might be a thing. You can also see into my bathroom and uh, some of our storage space. You can also see all the teas specifically brought to you. Not all of them, but most of them by our friends at nerdteas.ca. There you go. Show it, baby. Um, do I do one week? Yeah, I'll do one week. That's metal. Do not nick that knife. Always have a good pair of kitchen scissors. Alright, so I'm gonna do one leak. And if y'all have never prepared a leak, here's what you're gonna do. Alright, take the end, get rid of that. Take like all this bullshit. Unless you're making like leak, leak stew, don't fucking need it. Throw in the trash. No, not being a wasteful asshole either, I'm back to be honest. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wash the shit out of this. Leaks are generally pretty sandy and gritty. Not like gritty from fucking Philadelphia, mind you. Alright, I'm going to have to work very quickly to get this going for the Benitza. If there are any questions, just scream really loud or like redeem a sound effect. Anyway, we're just going to cut this nicely. I'm going to go in on a bit of an angle just because that's kind of how it's coming through here. All these beauties go also right in there. Like I said, I plan on poaching the fish because it is it is rather delicate. Snapper is, is a bit of a delicate beast. Fuck, that's the one thing I wanted to do. That's because that's how it was sent to me. Yeah, sometimes that happens, Lavender. It's very, very rare, but very, very rare. I bet. Yeah, I fucking love, I, I really enjoy having a community where I can just like DM people some obnoxious shit and they'll just be like, I bet. I have one-handed mode. Perfect. Shout out to my fucking awesome phone working again and having one-handed typing mode that shifts the keyboard to the right half. Damn, it feels good to be next to. Okay, next uh, we should have some peppers and onions to add. So bring those through. Anyway, any questions so far? Especially spicy peppers, if you don't want them too spicy, it's the easiest way to do it. Peppers also cut easier from the inside. Be with that knowledge what you want. Um, I avoid mostly like this white extraneous flesh here, uh, mainly because it's bitter. It is, it is more bitter than most of the pepper itself. And 
and I'm not really too particular. I'm just gonna kind of kind of rough, cut these into rough chunks. I also realize now how fucking hungry I am because I have not really eaten some pizza this afternoon. Again, kind of rough cut oblong. There's, there's going to be a lot of textures in this curry, which I'm okay with, um, just because of everything that's going into it, the fish. I'm going to be more focused on the flavor and everything than, like, again, some of the parts. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's, let's add another pepper. In the immortal words of the movie Short Circuit, circa 1980, Sharky, help me out, you were alive when this came out, uh, wouldn't you like to be a pepper too? Oh, this pepper had another pepper growing inside it. Ew. In utero pepper. Check it. Eighty-three, eighty-five. Was it really? I thought it was later on than that. You know. I'm gonna add more seasoning as we go through that. Don't worry. So anyway, uh, if y'all didn't know, the second month, or the second cooking stream of the month, I think Dan is out to a fairly impressive lead with keto lasagna. Um, I think I think he's like the only person that's voted for the second stream. Uh, so if you have any votes left over, you know now's the time to make a move, either, either support or repulsion. But you could also maybe sneak your uh, sneak your own vote in. 86. I knew I was close, dude. I knew I was close. Anyway, how's our audio balancing tonight? I should be pretty good because generally I don't have to fuck with the cooking stream setup too often. Anyway, so why don't y'all in chat tell me about your food allergy or the weirdest food allergy you've ever heard of. Um, one thing that I do like to do is I like to cook around allergies. Like in my own life, I don't have any per se besides Shelby's uh, reaction to cilantro. But like, I like being able to cook, you know, someone's like, oh, I don't eat fish or oh, I'm vegan. Like, I'm, I, I love cooking with challenges sometimes, you know? Uh, it makes me more versatile in the kitchen. It, it lets me know of like really handy backups for when I don't have ingredients. It teaches me more about how other people like to eat. You know? So, if y'all got any uh, dietary restrictions in chat? Let me know and uh, tell me like some of your favorite meals. I'm always looking to add to my recipe book. Get yourself a good kitchen cleaver. Them shits work. If Jenna is still here, they strike me as someone that's allergic to like eggs, milk, and butter. That's all right. That's all right though. I get it. I totally get it. Chris is probably allergic to erect cock um, and <laughs> well done steak. If Brighton's here, I know Brighton's allergic to onions and also overcooked meat. Have strawberry short steak? You ought to add your fucking, my fucking foot to your ass. Keep this shit up.
going to do nice long streaky boys in here because they'll cook very, very nicely. You know what? I think I'll just go half an onion. There's going to be a lot of flavors going on. Okay. So, back over here. We have this all sauteing really nicely. We're starting to get some nice color. I'm going to not fuck up my brand new glasses and take a paper towel and swipe these. Yeah, shout outs to our friends at Zenny. I now have some quite magical glasses that make me the male version of asking for your manager. No, my name's not Karen. Uh, what's, what is the male version of a Karen? You're deathly allergic to everything goat related? Are you joking or no? Yo, a pasta machine? Pasta makers are insanely good. As someone that has had has tried to make pasta by hand on stream, that shit fucking awful. Okay? I never want to do that shit again unless unless I have like some sort of mixer or pasta maker. Because it's fucking pain and misery. I'm not Italian enough for that shit. Is it a Kevin? A Ken? I feel like either one of those are good arguments, you know? Ken, Kevin. When in doubt, adobo. This one has a little bit of parsley in it to add a little bit of brightness to the mix. Okay, so, here's the move. All right. there's, a, there's a whole lot of information going on on my ding dong area, and uh, it's just uncomfortable. This, this outfit is a lot of players. Essential oils, that's very interesting. That's very interesting about goats. So that means there's like a lot of cheeses that you can't have, Seth. Um, to be honest though, thankfully it is very difficult to get goat in the United States. Like the only way I can get it, unless I like get up at fucking five in the morning and drive down to Philly and like catch it as it comes off the docks is like I can get frozen cubed bone-in goat chunks for like stew but it's not great to be honest like if it's frozen it's already not where you want goat to be okay so that's a little what I call green curry starter paste it's got kefir lime it's got lemongrass it's got um it's got a whole bunch of shit in it, to be honest. Here, we'll roll it back through this. It's kefir lime, lemongrass. Uh, water, rice vinegar, a little bit of coconut oil, garlic, shallot, chili pepper. It's, it's good. It smells very fragrant and citrusy, which is what I'm looking for. Uh, the next victim going into this is going to be a can of the coconut milk. I go unsweetened, but I don't go light. I forgot to shake this before I opened it. So, now it gets a little bit of shake. Cats can't have coconut milk, ding dong. And that whole batch just gonna go right in there. You'll notice that the fat, like the creamier part, separated from the bottom. The more liquidy part, totally okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give this a quick stir, get everybody introduced. This is probably different from what Sharky had in mind, but that's okay. Um, for me, like I said, been, getting weird ingredients has been very tough. It used to be very easy, now it's like a fucking nightmare. Um, I'm so glad I was able to actually find a full fucking fish. I had to fight a lady almost for it, but actually, as it turns out, she was rich and just wanted swordfish. I can't, fucking couldn't afford one filet, she bought them all. Alright, so, next, I'm just gonna start throwing the meat in here. This is gonna poach up really nicely and be shredded. Um, if you've never had any sort of like Asian or tropical style kind of curry or stew that has like fish in it, welcome. This is generally how it's served. You just kind of get your meat however you get it. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of heat to this. And to make sure we don't miss out on any of the flavors, in she goes, baby. Uh, if you're a real animal, you could eat the eyeballs. The fish eyeballs are a great source of protein. 
Uh, I prefer to cook them first, and I haven't eaten one in a while, and I don't know if I have the stomach veracity to do that on stream. Um, I really don't think I do, without bribing <laughs> large amounts of money from chat. So, I'm just going to increase the heat, and we're just going to let that fish head kind of simmer and stew in and absorb all the flavors. Um, okay, I will check back with chat. Williamsport? Nah, I got Aussie pretty close by. Why would I need to bribe chat? Because I am not doing anything foolish or weird for anything less than exposure. So you can't eat really any of the internal organs of fish. I would not recommend it, but the eyeballs are delicious. Same thing with goat and pig, by the way. One sec, I have an idea. It was really bugging me that all that area was exposed. Anyway, so the goal is I want to get this all simmered up. I'm going to take these wads of skin. They'll also just sit right there. Run that one. We're just going to take these wads of skin and just let them sit there. I'm going to cover this. Tail sitting out. Jesus Christ. I can't believe Reliance and I have been fucking here for this. What an asshole. It could go in the clips compilation. <laughs> Press X to doubt. Anyway. <sighs> Reckon my own numbers this week, I tell ya. Okay, Benitsa recipe. Andor smells it. Quit headbutting the fucking camera. Oven is going to preheat to tree fit it. You need about tree fit it. Amassing the Benitza. Andor, you can't have the fucking fish, bro. Okay, this is the recipe. So we're bumping up to 375.
Okay, I think I have the recipe I'm looking for. But hopefully y'all are enjoying it. I'm fucking starving right now. My only prospect of eating is fucking fish head curry. They're horrible, insufferable people, and I want you to know that I don't appreciate this shit. Especially the fact that Reliant came to show his own goddamn cooking stream. Alright. It's starting to smell really fucking good. So that's a plus. Anyway, take the rest of our fish. Garbash! Fucking trash. Well, anyway, you now that's how you cook using an entire fish, so. There's that, I guess. Wash my hands, and I'm just going to move that out of the way. Anyway, so what's going on? How are y'all doing tonight? How you feeling? Sorry we're running super late. I'm shitty streamer mode. Shout out our friend Haley for sending us this wonderful spice chai mix because this shit is way cheaper and tastes very similar to the fancy tea that I drink. Keeping my cost down, yeah, whatever, tea counts as food, right? What do you mean, booze ain't food? Why is that the, the, the food library? There are a few of you old enough to get that reference, I'll be proud of you. Nah, that's fine. It wasn't Ori. It, Ori was not the problem. The fact that no one answered their goddamn phones was. Okay, so I'm just looking for this meat to start to get white. Which it is. Flip the, flip, flip the fish. I mean, realistically, I can probably take this fork and start pulling some of, like, the... the, the cheek meat off, which is, like I said, that's, that's the good shit you want. Get rid of the skin. That's done all it can do for now. There it is. There comes the cheek meat. I also want that little bit from right above the head, right before it hits the uh, the plate. Just flakes right out. Oh, 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 there goes the entire tail. There we go. Excellent. All right. Oh, no, please don't snap in half. Oh, Christ. All right. You're going to come out. Mister. And we say thank you for your service. But I know my wife is not going to eat you if there's fucking food staring back at her. Alright. So, we got a good mix of some fishy chunks in there. I'm just going to let them simmer down. Leave a crack. 
crack on that lid, and I guess it's time for Banitza. I have one tired fucking cap away. Now, I have no rice. No rice today. Too late for that shit. Anyway, I think I think Shelby's done for the day. She's been very stressed about her job. I understand living with me and my fucking ear business not if you this for anybody, so. We're all fighting our own battles and just kind of pushing each other along the path as best as we can. No, no rice cooker. I don't feel like dealing with it, because I'm the only one probably eating this, so. Okay, the next thing I need to find is a baking dish. Uh, I don't know if I have any... Ah, I do. Guess what? It's going in one of these bad boys. Oh. Alright, I definitely need the puff pastry. I'm not making my own phyllo dough. Y'all motherfuckers don't pay me enough for that shit. Hopefully it is defrosted. I'm hoping it is, because it's been in the fridge since we got home at like 2. It's now fucking 11 o'clock and making fucking pastries at 11 o'clock at night. This is my life now. Those feel like they're sheets, which I'm hoping they are. Together. Okay, I need four eggs and two cups of Bulgarian yogurt. Creek's a good substitute, Any questions so far? <sighs> this is a large bowl. So this is going to get four eggs, two cups of water. Eight. Like your ways. I would just like to remind chat, however, that I can never do a Cujo Sarah cosplay, because uh, she can't cook. I've made enough to at least tolerate doing this. <laughs> Alright. 
I need to, yeah, there'll be a lot of it, probably. Let me double check myself here. Okay, yeah, two cups of yogurt. Two cups of yogi. I'm gonna release the, the steam from that. There is a wooden spoon around here. Give this a nice stir. It is looking very green, which I like. All right, two cups of yogurt. All right, well, fuck off then. My strop deciding that it uh, wants to come to the party, even though it wasn't invited. Right. Not exact, but we'll get close enough, I promise. together. And you'll get something that looks kind of like a custard in a way. Raiden Shogun. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Not Cujo Sarah. Cujo Sarah is... never mind. She's alright. Raiden Shogun can't fucking cook. Alright. Half teaspoon of baking soda. Ah, and then... 12 ounces of feta cheese. We don't have Serena. I didn't look for it. Fuck is that noise? Yeah, I love rice with curry too, but I just don't, <laughs> don't have the energy or appetite tonight. Your boy's been busting his ass uh, the past few weeks to the point, I don't know what fuck today is. But, I am the machine, and I will continue to do as such. I love feta. crumble this cheese up nice and well just make sure it's nice and small looks pretty good And 
I guess I'm just gonna whisk this all together. It's rather clumpy, considering it's cheese, yogurt, and egg. I'll give it the old masher rooney. That'll probably help get these bad boys assimilated. And bust it down a little bit. No disrespect, but this shit bussin'! Alright, now, here's where we make fun of me, because I'm a fucking idiot and don't do pastry dough well. This is very defrosted. Unfortunately, I think I may have bought the wrong thing. I bought puff pastry instead of phyllo dough. Alright, how do I remedy this situation? Yo, take care, Eisen. Thanks for hanging. Fuck. I thought this was phyllo dough. Well, I'm a perennial disappointment. I'm just gonna fucking... All right, you know what, I'm, I'm just gonna kind of take this into three sheets. So this is puff pastry. I should be able to at least make like six rolls, I think, and just maybe, maybe, just maybe make something out of this. I do not have any faith that this will work. We'll see what happens, okay? What I'm going to try and do is just what it suggests, but without the the phyllo dough. I'm just going to kind of roll it from end to end. Okay. I'm gonna swap it to a square. I have less surface area to fill. just as delicious. This is, like, the fucking worst. I'm such a fucking idiot. Oh, well, mistakes happen when you're me. Alright. 
However, I don't think this is going to turn out incredibly awful. I will have a lot of this mixture left that I will have no idea what to do with, though. Um, so, we'll figure that out. So the reason why this is an issue is because puff pastry is different than phyllo dough. Uh, phyllo dough, you get a bunch of really, really thin layers, and the, the context of this is you put it in between the layers, you get puffs up, and... You know, you have that nice, very flaky, crusty texture. I mean, we'll get that here, but it's just going to be surrounded by puff pastry, unfortunately. So, I'm just going to kind of stack them up, and they're going to shoot like cannons into the sky and get what we'll get out of it. And before you ask, just make more puff pastry. No, I don't have time. That literally takes days. I will check in with chat in a second. I just gotta get this shit into the oven. I really honestly don't think this is going to work. We might end up with some nifty Bonitza rolls, but, you know, my inability to read has fucked us once again. If this works, I'll be very impressed. I think this is just going to be a fucking waste of material, unfortunately. Disappointing my wife more often than usual. <laughs> eh, hey, well. This is messy. Like I said, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, well. We'll mark it as probably one of the <laughs> numerous failures of this cooking stream. That's okay. I didn't really have a chance to prepare for any of this this week, and I was running so far behind today, I was just like, fuck it, this looks right. To be honest, I don't even think I saw puff paste, like, actual phyllo dough sheets. All I saw was puff pastry, it, like, at least where it normally hangs out, which is unfortunate, but, you know. I figured it would work in a pinch, because very often they are somewhat interchangeable, uh, at least to my very simplistic ass. I will check on chat in just a second. I just don't want to look over because, like, I'm kind of in the zone. And my fingers are also very fucking dirty and cruddy. Well, this is a fucking disaster mess. Hopefully it turns into something cool. I don't know, fuck it, just... Just gonna try and give it, give it some life, I guess. I'm hoping that this mixture can kind of seep into some of the holes and cracks as they cook. But I'm expecting this to be utterly fucking useless and just a disgusting sloppy mess because I'm incompetent as shit. Alright, well, we'll fucking give it a shot. So this is gonna go into the fucking hot box until about 2.45. I 
I have no idea what I can do with that next year. I guess I can make like some sort of weird fucked off office tomorrow morning. Makes your suit, baby. Yeah, I'm a disappointment. Alright, so that's gonna go in the hot box fucking, I guess, like an hour. I don't fucking know. Yeah, unfortunately, that just is probably not gonna work out. I'll check it in like 30 minutes. 35. Hopefully it works. Alright, in the meantime, let's check out this fucking curry. It is nice and green. There's some fish. I'm just gonna grab a fish chunk. That's good. I didn't even season this shit too hard. But yeah, that, that fish is really good. Very soft, very creamy. Um, if you're unfamiliar with green curry, I like it because you can add fish sauce to it to finish it off, which is really, really cool. Joby normally does the dishes. That's kind of our trade-off, but I had to do most of them today. Mm. All right. Oh, it's definitely ready. Curry is definitely ready. Alright, what time we got? We got about, you know what, let's give it 5-10 minutes. Um, anyone got goddamn questions? This is a really quick cooking stream, uh, mainly because I was cooking and booking. And, well, I unintentionally fucked up, so... Sorry, fucking look, I was elected to leave, not to leave. I will tell you that wearing pants, underwear, Two fucking sashes and a loincloth piece and three belts. It is incredibly hot in the kitchen. Okay. But it's fun. Somewhere out there, someone is watching this and it's like their fucking wet masturbatory dream of just, oh my god, Jow in the kitchen. That's everything I've ever wanted. To which I will remind you, I am married. That's sick. You should be paying me extra. Fuck, we free. Oh, you grab lettuce, never mind. Look, this stream we do not kink shame. We just grade. And we also charge a premium for if that's what you're into. Alright, questions on the stream? No. <laughs> no, Mihoyo did. It's weird. I think Zhao's like one of the only male characters without an exposed midriff at this point. It's just getting out of hand.
Oh yeah, John Wee, but he doesn't understand things like that. I also didn't feel like clomping around in the boots at fucking 11 o'clock at night. I'm scared to fucking look at this. Oh, jeez. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna forget about that and just hope it goes away. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I found a bone. But I'm not gonna lie, the fish in there is really good. This definitely would be good with a bit of rice, just to add some extra kind of stickiness to it. That's good. Not very good choice there. It'll it'll cook. The temperature's high enough. It will bake at some point. It may take longer than I'm comfortable with, but all right. Seth, do you want to alert the troops that it's time for golf? Let's get ourselves a nice bowl of this. I'll show y'all what it looks like. Now, green curry is not the most appetizing looking dish on the face of the planet. I promise you that. It's a very kind of gross green color. The flavors, however, are exceptional. Um, like I said, kefir lime, lemongrass. And this has some peppers, some broccoli, some onions, some leek, and uh, a whole fucking snapper in there. So this got a lot of vitamins and nutrients and omega-3s to make my very small brain continue to pump. So, like I said, doesn't look appetizing. I promise you, on God, this shit busts. Awesome. Take a picture of this. And for me, I ain't waiting another 30, 40 minutes for this Bonita soup to finish. Um. Yeah, right? Alright, so, any final questions? Y'all have like two, three minutes, and then we're going to golf while I eat. This is definitely some shit that Zhao would eat. Especially not caring about the texture.
To my, to to be honest, my idea of poaching the fish fish was like the pro idea. Because now there's just like little tender bites, tender morsels hidden, interlaced in it. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'd show off my new guitar. Damn, that sucks, Larry. Anyway, I'm very gingerly bringing our new friend and tool to the stream. This is our Agile 825-28. It is an eight-string guitar. There are a lot of strings on it, but it's definitely been really cool to tinker around with. I uh, just got to get the amp set up properly and we'll be in business. Slap the bass. I need a strap for it so I can't play it yet while standing. <laughs> string is like playing a six string with two extra strings. Simple enough. You just have more range. Anyway, I would have had a nice uh, strap for it sorted out, but it's weird. I asked my friends and community members on Twitter, and all they sent me were fucking dildos. Weird. Unfortunately, no attachment point on, on the guitar for a dildo. Assholes. Nah. I just have incredibly large hands. Okay. This is a Samsung Note 20 Ultra. Not even stretching to pinky finger. Woohoo! Kirk case. But. I have incredibly large fucking hands, all right? Like, this is an 11-inch cooking knife from tip to tip. Big hands. Nah, I caught it. I have very strong hands. Alright, I think we'll call it here. It's time for some golf. Thank you so much for the, like, super late bullshit. But, uh, I'm gonna break this down quick. Give us, like, five, ten minutes, we'll start golfing. Appreciate it. Do not forget, we have a second cooking stream. This month, go vote if you have votes left. The strategy has kicked off. Also, don't forget to pick a cosplay, either. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna save some do something with it. There has to be something. Anyway, much love. This has been the uh, accelerated version of Femboy Feast for the first half of the month of February. Deuces. Only Larry has assembled. Well, that's not good. Alright, y'all. I'm going to try and get undressed as quickly as possible and get everything broken down. <laughs>